Okay, so on our double sprocket here, we originally had our overrunning uh, ratchet clutch. Until Speedy found out if you back the bike into a corner with the ratchet down there, the uh, knuckling of the U-joint gets you in trouble and dumps you off. <laughs> so then we moved it up to the front chain. Um, here's the triplet of idlers with the tension adjuster, and then these two are located in exactly the right spot so the chain tension stays constant with uh, suspension travel. After we get the chain up past the radiators and the starter and everything, it comes up here to the uh, sprocket on the U-joint shaft assembly. This is an overload clutch. Next part over is a big U-joint. Um, big, strong, way bigger than it actually needs to be, but it's the part you can get easily. Okay, after the uh, ratchet up here, chain heads down. Got an idler tensioner on the slack side here. Got a uh, 420 sprocket off of mini or a small motocross bike what is that one 53 tooth up front right now and the uh, tight side goes up the back so the steering you need to get a linkage out to the front fork uh, and do it without bump steer <laughs> so the simplest way I've found is you put a parallel box of links on here and so one link is the front, uh, upper suspension arm the other link is the steering and that works out really well. And right here, the range of motion is so big we couldn't actually find a ball joint that would take it. So we made a little U-joint setup. 